All right, and hello, and welcome back to another tutorial for Clash and Go. And what I want to discuss today is a how-to on beating one of the most common defense builds that you're going to see at least between when the time you start the game and Command Center 4. Probably also, like yesterday's video, this information is probably good through Command Center 5 and Command Center 6. So what I've done is I'm going to tell you first the army that I have built up. And what my army looks like is, it, it's hard to tell because they all look like little ants running around right now, but I have 10 giants. I have three of the spider bombs, and then the rest are fighters and shooters at a two to one ratio of shooter to fighter. And the reason for that is because I want my giants and I want my fighters to draw the attacks of the opponent's guns. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna free up my shooters to do a couple of things. First, it's going to free them up to shoot over the walls and take out the defenses, but it's also going to free them up to loot. And it's the end of the month, so most people are doing a trophy push. Try to climb up as high as possible in rank of trophies. And so there's a lot of free resources out there available for you to loot. You just have to know where to get them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the fight and I'm going to search and I'm gonna look for this specific base build. And the first one we come across, I'll just battle no matter what kind of, and here it is, the very first one. This is a base build that you're pretty much going to see on the reg in this game. And this is the one that I want to, like a, a double diamond, we'll call it. And here's how you defeat this base. The first thing you do, is you just drop a couple giants there and then you're gonna follow that up with a spider bomb. And when your spider bomb gets hit, you wanna time it so that after the plasma hits, then your spider bomb comes in. And that's gonna open the door. And then I'm gonna drop another spider bomb there. And that's gonna open the rest of the way. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send two and two. And then wherever their hero is, is where I'm going to send my hero. And now I'm just gonna kind of spam out my fighters and my shooters along the bottom edge. And I'm just gonna drop them all out here. There are a couple schools of thought in that maybe you should save some of your resources for the end game. And that's definitely, no one's gonna fault you for doing that. But it looks like I've got one extra fighter. I'll drop him over here to add help there, but as you can see, my opponent has one defense left, and that is it. So it was basically, this is gonna be 100%, I'm gonna take all the resources, I don't even remember what they had, but I'm also going to gain 25 trophies out of this. And this is gonna be probably the easiest way to take over this base. Now you can also do it with the strat that I showed yesterday, of just simply doing a two to one ratio of fighters to shooters. And that will probably work. I would caution though, and say it's probably worth it to go ahead and drop in at least two spider bots or spider bombs just for that double wall. But once you have your opponent's attention diverted away from what it is you're doing, then you can deploy your spider bots and let's just go ahead, make sure I'm calling them the right thing here. Yeah, the spider bots. Then you can go ahead and deploy your spider bots, pretty risk free. And again, one thing that you wanna make sure you do is you want to time it. Let's see, I'm gonna go with 20, and then I'm gonna go with 10, 13, and that's gonna leave me 17, so I'll go five, two, three, four, five, and that'll leave 12 for my shooters. But what I was saying is you want to time your spider bots such that that plasma gun doesn't hit them like it did my first one. So you want to, and you could even just deploy one giant at the beginning in that upper corner just to draw out that first plasma gun shot. And then once that hits the ground, you can probably deploy your spider bot and then a couple more giants after that. 
And once those have busted through the first wall and you drop your second spider bot to go after that second wall, again, make sure you pay attention to the timing of it. You are completely free to attack from the backside. And like I said, you just want to drop your hero where their hero is because your hero will attack theirs, which is going to keep your giants from being attacked from behind and from in front while they are trying to knock down the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my army recoup here and then I'm going to come back and we will do it one more time just to show that the first time wasn't a fluke and I am super close. In fact, I'm the top ranked at silver level three for the current moment. And, and if you look at my stats here, I have 84 victories in attack and 29 victories in defense, which is really great. If we scroll through and look, like there's Starflyer has 27 defense victories. It looks like I can't, is Seely has 22. But other than that, there's a 26. You know, there's just not a lot of victories on defense. And if you want to know the base build that I have there, I mean, it's there, but if you want a more in-depth description on exactly how my base is set up, I have another video. Be sure you check. Uh, I'll either put a tag here or there'll be a link in the description below so that you can see how I built this particular base. And this particular base isn't necessarily built towards farming resources. And in fact, after the changeover of the new month, I will probably switch my base build so that I'm hoarding resources. I'm, I'm pretty close to being able to go up to Command Center 5. And so I'm going to want to gather more resources during that time at the end of the month, trying to push and get as many trophies as possible. And I will say that the game is only like two weeks old, not even. And so trophies aren't super important at the moment, but if we go in and check, and the reason kind of why I'm doing any kind of a trophy push at all at this point is looking at the top clans, while first place is pretty far out of reach at just over 29,000 trophies, you can see that the Pokefather clan is at 9,300 trophies. In yesterday's video, we were like 101 trophies ahead of sixth place, and we've really put out some distance between us and them. Looks like 2,100 or so trophies. Still a pretty far climb away. I think we're like 6,000 trophies away from fourth place. But if we can catch fourth place, third place is right there. And third place is going to afford 10,000 of the antimatter. And that is going to be divided up amongst the top 10 people in your clan. So everybody's going to get 100. And antimatter is, is the currency of the game. So that would be a very welcome addition to the team. And in case you are wondering, the top 10 places right now, we, we're, we're headed up by Care Bear. And, and really, Care Bear is in charge of recruiting for my clan. And look at him at 37.55. He's really high up in ranks. I'm, I'm almost positive he's, and I'm sure he's in top 10. He may be approaching top five in the game at the moment. But in order to be top 10, it's going to take 706 trophies. So there you go. That's kind of an update on how we're doing as far as that goes. It looks like I have about five minutes left to go. And so I'm going to cut this video here and then pick it back up once my army is completed. All right. And so I'm back. And as you can see, I've only got about 20 seconds left to go. Again, this is not really going to take any time at all to find that same base that we just attacked, but I just want to show you that it wasn't a fluke that you can, in fact, take out that base pretty much every single time you attack it, if you just attack it the right way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in and search for another fight. And again, no matter what the trophy count or anything is, I will stop the first time I see that particular base, whether it be really strong or really weak. And this is kind of my base, but that's not the one we're looking for. So on the far right hand side there, you can see continue. It does cost you another 110 titanium. It's not that big a deal. You're going to gain well over that number of titanium by winning the battle. And what you want to shoot for is you don't have, you, you obviously you want to shoot for 100% three stars every time. But if you don't, 
like 70% is a good number to go for. So what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna try to time this out better, but this time I'm only gonna drop the one. I'm gonna wait till that hits. Okay, now I'm gonna drop the spider and drop in two, wait till it shoots, drop, the, and I did it again. Well, that was too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down low here, drop my, drop a third one and a third one. And then I'm just gonna deploy about half of my fighters and then the other half, and then just kind of sporadically spread out. And then I'm gonna save something on the backside here. My, my hero got taken out really quickly because I didn't have a, a spider to break open this second wall over here. So this one may not go quite as well, although it seems like I'm able to get to their turrets pretty well. And I do have three soldiers being held back. I probably won't even need them, just to be totally honest at this point. I think dropping my last three would kind of be overkill. And I do have almost two minutes to go. So I will hold them back in case I need some last minute reinforcements in order to get that 100%. I'm already over the 70%, so it's great. Not a lot of resources out of this one, but the 25 trophies is going to push me over 1,000 for the game. Let's see, I have about a minute and a half left here. Oh, and I got a, uh, I got a trophy, a badge of some kind there for probably looting X number of titanium. And at 93%, we have just over 2,000 more helium to go before this is going to be a complete sweep. So there you go. And now when you move up a level, so now I'm in level two, you can see that my 100% bonus went up to 3,700 in both titanium and helium. And it didn't even take all of my resources in order to take out that base for the second time. And that was with doing my spider bots not exactly well-timed. You can time them out a lot better than I did in this video. So I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial for you guys because I was noticing that I was seeing that particular base build all the time. And so I figured if I'm seeing it all the time, you are probably seeing it all the time and why not do a little how-to video on how to take out that base. I hope you guys learned something from this. If you did, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you want to make sure you catch all the content for Clash and Go, make sure you hit the alerts button. And if there's any topics that you want me to cover, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I also have a Discord server set up for Clash and Go. If you want to talk in-game strategy, if you want to join the Pokefodder clan, all that information will be on my Discord as well. That's all I've got for this time. So until next time.